This is always one of my favorite concerts of the year because in this concert we get to showcase a couple of the most incredible talents in the orchestra and every year I'm struck by their, their beautiful playing, their poise, uh, their ability to stay calm in front of all of you. It's incredible. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about our concerto competition itself. Um, it happened back in January, middle of January, and we had quite a number of, I think, 16 or 18 uh, participants that day up at Whitworth, and uh, all of them played so beautifully. There was, there were just, there was one after another of great performances. But of course, you know, the judges have, they've been charged to find only the three best players of that particular day. And so those are the three players that you will hear in just a moment. And we're going to do a little bit of a reverse farewell symphony. So the program order has changed because we're going to start with the Mozart Violin Concerto Number no. 5, uh, played by Sage Sorensen. And I think you probably would have guessed if you saw a violinist come out instead of a flute player, right? So in any case, um, that starts with our, our smallest orchestration. And then we go to the Dvorak Romance, just a gorgeous, beautiful piece. Um, actually very challenging for somebody to win on a slow piece because you know, it's the flashy stuff that in, impresses everybody. But Arjun Natasen just did such a beautiful job in the uh, competition, and so he was chosen. And then our final piece will be the Reinecke Flute Concerto, the third movement, played by Eva Ionelli. And this is a wonderful piece to end with. And when I was preparing the score, I was expecting mm, a little bit slower ending She's going to blow you away with um, some very, very fast notes. So let's.